The image of God as a white man is very pervasive in our society. We found that the stronger a person's belief, the more convinced they were that God was a white man, the more likely they were to perceive white men as worthy of leadership positions, and the less likely they were to see black people and women as worthy of those positions. I grew up in a almost exclusively black church led by a, a black female minister. And within that church, there was imagery of a white male God that just always stood out to me, an entity that didn't necessarily look like anyone in the church. And I always wondered how that affected us psychologically. We recruited children from Sunday schools across different churches in the Bay Area and a few in North Carolina. We gave them a, a pack of 14 crayons with different skin tones and colors and asked them to just draw a picture of, of God. However, whatever you think God looks like, just draw a picture of God. And then we also gave them the same categorization task that we gave adults, where we would show them pairs of faces and out of those two we would ask them, who do you think looks more than God? After all that was said and done, we showed them 12 faces and told them, hey, there are lots of people at the place where I work, but only three people are bosses. Can you tell me which one of these people are bosses? The extent to which the children drew God as white on those drawings predicted how many white people they chose as bosses. In one aspect of the study, we just typed God into Google Images to see how often is God portrayed as a white male. And we found that I think it was about 72% of all the images that came up that presented God in some kind of humanized form did in fact present God as a, a white male. And I think 6% of the images presented God as Morgan Freeman from the film Bruce Almighty. We live in a society in which there's a lot of racism and sexism across many domains of American life. And I think our studies really importantly capture how that racism and sexism even influences spaces like the U.S. church. The findings I hope may spark a critical conversation about how to maybe work toward a church and a broader society where anybody can be perceived as worthy of leadership irrespective of their race or gender. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.